Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Tom Meredith from West Red Lake Gold. How are you today, Tom? I'm good. Thank you, Tracy. Tom, I know you hate surprises, but I'm going to throw you right in the middle of it here. Could you just explain to our audience how competitive West Red Lake Gold is? Because you're one of those understated plays, you know, where you don't necessarily throw it out how exciting what you have is. Because you've got three big projects, right? Well, we have, we have three historic mines on our one project. So it's one large project with actually four gold deposits on it. Three of them were former producing mines. One's a new one that we're also exploring. And uh, the main historic one is a Rowan mine where we have a million ounces of gold with a grade of just about seven and a half grams. And that takes me to where I want to be right next. Right now, you just literally announced a series of drilling, uh, drilling results. So 16 shallow holes, is that correct, at this particular mine, Rowan, right? At the Rowan, yes. Uh, the, our resource is, is quite well known from uh, roughly surface down to a depth of about 500 meters. But the very surface area, the top 30 meters, um, hasn't been explored carefully. And we're having a really good look at that now because that could potentially be a bulk sample for us where maybe in about a year's time we could we could break some rock and ship it off to our partner's mill. So, Tom, I think you've basically answered the significance of this drilling, but tell us a little bit more, please. Well, the, a bulk sample is an initial test mining uh, operation, which we would do from surface, and you ship the material that you, you mine from surface to a mill, and what that does is it gives you information on when you do a significant mining operation and after that, you know, how you set up the mill, how you need to operate the mill. So it, mills have to be set up and tuned up a certain way. So it's always good to have the, the information that you need to do a full milling operation. You know, we have a number of uh, English investors actually that are always like, yeah, we like the English or they, we like the Canadian market, Tracy, tell us more. Okay, so let me tell you more. Uh, West Red Lake has assembled a significant property position totaling 3,100 hectares in West Red Lake Gold, West Red Lake. Now this, of course, is a very prolific area, and I think what you're basically showing us are similar results to some of the more successful ventures in that area previously. Is that correct? Yes, uh, for example, uh, our, our neighboring, the neighboring mines that are in operation or going into operation have similar grades that they're mining these days. Um, and Evolution Mining bought the historic Gold Corp operations, which made Gold Corp very famous. And they just recently announced they're acquiring the neighbor to that project, which is called uh, Battle North, which has a new mine that they're putting into production later this year. And the Battle North property is on the north side of the Evolution Mines, the old Gold Corp mines, and then runs all the way to our property boundary. And Evolution is also our property partner. So our partner has picked up a whole lot of the mining projects in the camp. And uh, so it's they're very good for us to be partners with because they also have three mills in town. So we're, we're in a very good position to have Evolution as our partner. And thank you so much for going exactly where I was hoping you would go for all of you out there who are perhaps trying to understand how the gold exploration industry actually works. So just to reiterate, the Rowan Mine property is held in a 64-36% joint venture with Evolution Mining. Is that correct? That's correct. We actually have about 66% now. Um, and then going forward, uh, Evolution is coming out to the property in about a month's time to review how we're doing out there. Uh, they're looking for exploration potential beyond what we already have. So there's, they bought the Gold Corp assets about a year ago. And uh, so now they're, they're looking more closely at partnerships like ours. So that takes me to my next question. In addition to the most recent drilling results, last month as well, you put out some rather substantial news, but you wrote it in a very technical way. Perhaps you can talk to us a little bit about that. Well, we have, that's in the NT zone. So it's a fourth deposit on the property. 
as we met, talked about earlier, we have three deposits which were historic mines. And then the fourth deposit, which is called the NT zone, was ne has never been mined. And uh, but we it's about two kilometers in length, and we've drilled the first kilometer of it, the southern half, and uh, we've got some good results there. And what we're trying to show the market is that we have about a kilometer long strike length of gold with some decent intercepts in it, and potential to make it into a big open pit operation. We think plus some underground mining as well. And the next thing we want to do is extend it further uh, to the northeast in the direction of the, that the zone is running. So, of course, for those of you out there who do know who Tom Meredith is and who are involved in the resource industry heavily, I'm sure you know that I often use Tom as kind of my metric of what the heck is going on in the gold exploration and gold industry in general. So, Tom, I can't uh, resist not asking you what the heck is happening in the gold junior uh, resource sector. I thought we were supposed to have a bull market by now. Sure. Well, we're obviously we're we are very keenly waiting for that uh, wave of interest to come into our space. We had a very good interest in gold a year ago, um, and and the price of gold has done very well in the last couple of years. It's gone from being capped at thirteen hundred and fifty dollars an ounce, got all the way up to about two thousand and fifty dollars an ounce, and now it's trading around seventeen fifty ish. Uh, it's come down a bit from where it was because we currently have some headwinds from higher U.S. bond rates, treasury rates, and a higher U.S. dollar. That'll probably dissipate over the next few weeks. And then I, I'm guessing that in the second half of this year, uh, once interest rates are going down, the dollar softens and uh, inflation starts to pick up, that'll provide a very good environment for gold, investing in gold stocks. And that's when we very well could see a strong interest in, in, in the sector. And do you feel like, so just to, to recap here, Evolution is planning on uh, doing a mine site visit here shortly. Is that correct? Yeah, they're, they're going to come out and have a look at our property. Uh, they're new, as, as I mentioned. They, they just bought the, the historic Gold Corp assets in Red Lake, the, the three mines they have there from Newmont. They bought those a year ago. And they've been focused on getting those operations back up and running. Uh, they have been running, but bringing them, you know, in, improving their operations, let's put it that, that way. And now they're starting to look at some of the other assets that they have in the area. So they're going to come and have a look at ours. And, and, and uh, hopefully they'll uh, become much more interested in them. So I have heard John and you uh, regularly throughout COVID. Do you feel like you're... Uh, on schedule presently for your drilling schedule, or can you give us kind of what we should expect in the next quarter or two? I th well, we're, we're drilling uh, now. We've been drilling more this year. than We drilled a, a fair amount last year. We're going to drill even more this year than we did last year. So we're increasing the amount of our drilling as time goes on, working to build up a greater resource because we think when the gold investment cycle comes to the juniors, what people will be looking for is value per ounce in the ground. And our goal is not only our, do, to see the value per ounce in the ground go up significantly from what we're valued at now, but to add additional ounces as well. Well, Tom, thank you so much for an update on West Red Lake Gold. We look forward to seeing you, seeing you soon. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tracy.